Okay, today's project is going to be ham and bean soup, and I'm using Great Northern Beans. I bought some ham yesterday that was in the bargain bin. Uh, it's their, part of their, this grocery store is five <coughs> for a $25 meat special. So there'll be plenty of ham in the package. And I've got the beans already sorted and washed. I'm going to show you something that we did special. These little uh, remote controls, they're actually for a car starter. And I showed this to you before, but I haven't showed you this setup. The little batteries in them are 12 volt. And they're just tiny little batteries. Battery. As you can see, it's a really tiny battery. But it's a 12, it's rated at 12 volts. And the batteries, we've had this going on, this uh, way we're getting the water. We've had it going on for uh, nine months, something, but we use it a lot. It's more than for just starting cars, obviously. So, anyway, my son wired the uh, uh, battery in with some little things, know, connectors. So now, when I push the button, it always works. Then I can push the button up here to stop it, and it stops. So that's how we're doing the water now. All right. Well, as I continue, I will be. Uh, I went ahead and put the beans in this. I uh, will get it boiling and let it boil for a minute, and then I'll uh, cover it and let it sit for an hour. Then I'll bring the beans are soaked. You can see they soaked up a lot of water. <coughs> Put the lid over here just for a minute. I'm going to lift this out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. I don't know. Yep. I'm just going to set it over here in this clean sink. Let those drain. I'm going to take this water and throw it out. That was the soaking, the pre-soaking water. So I want fresh hot water for the okay, beans. Okay, the beans are back in the pot. I'm just going to run water in there until they're completely covered. The hose is pretty handy, isn't it? I don't have to try to lift things out of the sink. Anyway, I'm going to get these beans completely covered. Pretty close to the top edge because I know they're going to soak up a lot of water. I've got a tea kettle ready to uh, get all get heated up. Got my jars back here in my canner getting heated up as always. So we'll get this cart going uh, and then I'll, once it uh, gets to simmering, boiling, I'll let it boil for 30 minutes. And bring you back when I start doing the next step. I've already got ham and uh, celery and onions. I wish I had some carrots, but I'm out, so I'll do without it. I've got everything cut up, ready to go. We'll put a quarter of a cup of chopped ham in each jar, about a third cup of onions and about a quarter of a cup of celery in each jar. And I'll top it up with water from from here, from this pan, and if I don't have enough, I'll just go ahead and put plain uh, hot water in it. Okay, I thought I'd show you how I've got it set up right here. Uh, when it's time for the beans to come out of the pan, I've got my measuring cup for one third cup onions, and my onions are already chopped up. I've just rough chopped them. I've got my uh, celery, rough chopped. My son's not crazy about eating celery and stuff, so make it just big enough for him to pick it out if he wants to. I love it. I've got a cup and three-fourths of chopped ham. That way, for seven jars of beans, I'll have three-four, I mean, one-fourth cup per jar. I've got my paper towel and vinegar, and so I can wipe the rims. 
and this bowl to set my jars in. Got my jar lifter, my canning foam, a ladle for getting the liquids out, and this kind of a ladle for getting the beans out. So I'll bring you back when I'm ready to start filling jars. It's raining. <clears throat> I guess you can hear it on the tin roof. One of the things I want to do on this recipe, because the bean soup, the vegetables are supposed to be cooked. The ham is already cooked. So the vegetables are supposed to be cooked. So I'll put it in a strainer in with the beans. Put the onion in there. In a few minutes, I'll take that out and I'll put the celery in. I forgot to mention a while ago that I'm also going to be <coughs> adding salt and pepper. It's canning salt. There's nothing in it but just plain salt. And it's black pepper. I'm going to put only a half a teaspoon of salt per quart. Even though they usually call for a teaspoon. But I'm putting ham in there so I don't want to overpower the salt. And I'm going to put about an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper in, into the, each jar. So I'm ready to start canning. Pour the water back into the canner. I want all the water to stay in there. There needs to be about three quarts into the canner. Put in the funnel. Start dipping out the beans. Now, <clears throat> I'm only going to put two scoops of beans in. Then I'll put the meat and veg, and then if I need more beans, I'll do that. So, I'm going to use a quarter cup of celery. These, the celery and the onions were both blanched with the beans, as you noticed a while ago when I was doing that. Here's one. One quarter cup. Third cup of the onions. The blanching helps the onions begin to collapse before you get them in the jars. That way your head space isn't so affected. Excuse my arm coming through there. And here's the ham, so I'll get a quarter cup of ham. Ignore the timer. I'll put one more scoop of beans in there. I don't like to fill beans all the way up because they tend to expand in canning and they'll expand some more on the shelf which means they take up uh, more of your uh, head space in. It makes your head space wrong. I'll put it that way. Here's my half teaspoon measure. Half teaspoon of salt. a lot. <laughs> Not a full quarter. I don't even want a full quarter teaspoon. I want an eighth of a teaspoon. There, that's good. Then put the juice in. up to a one inch head space. Yeah, everything doesn't always go perfectly, y'all. Work the bubbles out.
Wipe the rim of the jar very well. Get all the debris off. Get the outside threads a little bit too. I'm using vinegar, a vinegar soap towel to do that. I've got my rings and lids over here, right behind you. That's it for that one. Ready to go. Take it out of the bowl. There. That's all you need. Just finger tight. Put it back in the counter. Get out another jar. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to start canning them. Prepared four pounds of beans. And I've got beans left. Oh no, what am I going to do? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll can them after these other ones get done. I need to can some sausage anyway. And I've got jars over here in the sink in some hot soapy water some pint jars so I'm going to get those ready while I'm canning these now they're all in there I used one wide mouth because for some reason I couldn't find another regular mouth quart jar but there's seven meals there seven quarts of ham and white bean kind of a soup uh, I follow the ball directions uh, pretty closely for the ham, ham and bean soup, except that I did not cook these for two hours and then can them. I actually just followed the regular bean canning method for that, and that would be the quick soak and then boil them for 30 minutes. And then <coughs> put it all together. Okay, I'll bring you back a little bit. There's no pressure yet. I've just got it. Just put the lid on. I'm going to wait for this part back here to vent for 10 full minutes. I've got it loosened up. You loosen it right there. I'll wait for it to vent for 10 minutes. And then I'll close it down, at which time this will come up in just a few minutes. And then it'll start building pressure. So I'll bring you back for that. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that. We're getting vent from this which is where I want it from. It's loose on here right now. It never gets really, really tight. It will always rise up. Uh, that's so that if it ever goes over pressure, it'll just blow steam out this. But it has to get pretty high to do that. Anyway, so now I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And when 10 minutes my time is up for the venting, uh, tighten this down. Let this come up. And then start watching the uh, pressure. I'll get it up to about 12 or 13. That's where I usually can at. I'm supposed to can at 11 on the gauge. But um, I find if I go up to 12 or 13, at least if I drop a little bit, I'm not in any real trouble and I'll have to start the time over again. So I'll bring you back when the pressure starts. Okay, you can see the pressure is beginning to build. It's only on two or three pounds right now. A little bit more steam coming out of there, but it's okay because it's that's getting that rubber thing kind of swells and fills that gap. So it's beginning to build. I'll bring you back when and I will hope it cools things down. Anyway, we're up at about 12 pounds of pressure right there. So I'm going to set my timer. I'm going to go for 90 minutes since these are quarts of beans with meat in them. But even so, even if they didn't have the meat, they would still need to be 90 minutes because that's the way beans are. So I'll set my timer for <clears throat> and let it go for 90 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the meantime, I'll get my sausage browned that I'm wanting to can, and I will also get some pinto beans pre-soaked, quick soaked, and ready to can, because I would like to run a full canner load of 18 jars uh, this next go around. Bring again, I will hope it cools things down. Anyway, we're up at about 12 pounds of pressure right there. So I'm gonna set my timer. I'm gonna go for 90 minutes since these are quarts of beans with meat in them. 
but even so, even if they didn't have the meat, they would still need to be 90 minutes because that's the way beans are. So I'll set my timer for <clears throat> and let it go for 90 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the meantime, I'll get my sausage browned that I'm wanting to can, and I will also get some pinto beans pre-soaked, quick soaked, and ready to can because I would like to run a full canner load of 18 jars uh, this next go around. And here we go. The jars are all out of the canner. That one doesn't look like it's boiling, but that one is. That one is, so let's see how they go. If they're boiling, they usually seal. The color looks terrible in this light, but believe me, it's beautiful. The beans are a golden color. So there you go. All done.